teacher is in trouble tonight. Sarpy County authorities say earlier this month she served alcohol to minors. Right now, Ann Erweiler is still employed as an elementary school teacher. The district can't talk specifics about personnel issues, but new tonight, KETV News Watch 7's Christina Engel is digging into the professional policy that could put that job in jeopardy. Christina? And Brandy, we don't know how long Ann Erweiler has been an employee here at Trumbull Park Elementary, but after charges of contributing to the delinquency of a minor and procuring alcohol for a minor, she may not keep her job for long. Inside this Papillion home, Sarpy County authorities say a school district employee allowed a party for minors, some of them under 18. Members of the Papillion La Vista parent teacher organization have nothing negative to say about Ann Erweiler, saying both they and their children think she's a good teacher. But now school administrators say having a run in with the law will call into question whether she's also a good role model. Anytime a criminal action um, involves students, or minors, um, the severity of that um, is, is much more serious and is something that um, we immediately take action on. Annette Iman with Papillion La Vista Schools can't talk about Erweiler's job specifically, but can say the future of her job at Trumbull Park Elementary may be at risk. It's probably one of the most important things we do um, is to make sure that we protect students and we protect the profession as a whole. It's all spelled out in the district's professionalism policy. Iman says employees get a copy of it every school year. Breaking the law or having inappropriate outside contact with students will land you on administrative leave. And pending an investigation could result in termination. It's pretty quick. Um, you know, when you're dealing with role models for students, um, you can't take a long time. So it's a very quick process, probably much quicker than a criminal process. Iman also tells me that their investigation is totally separate from law enforcement, so they'll make a decision regardless of conviction. But they say they take into account a teacher's history, and ultimately the decision goes to the superintendents as well as the principal. But that decision can be appealed to the Board of Education. But, um, excuse me, Erweiler will have her first court appearance in August. In Papillion, Christina Engdahl, KETV News Watch 7.